Hello, everybody, and we're coming to you live from the B2B Marketing Exchange in sunny Scottsdale, Arizona. My name is Brian Anderson. I'm a news editor at Demand Gem Report. And with me, we have James Taylor. He is a speaker, author, and one of the, uh, the founder of C School. Pleasure to have you here today. It's a great pleasure being here in sunny Scottsdale. Sunny, <laughs> sunny, sunny Scottsdale. Uh, how, how's the event? How is, it, how is uh, the conversations going on and the, and the sessions? How are you liking them? Do you, do you know what I, I really like about this event is you have such a, a mix of different types of B2B marketers. So, um, you know, earlier yesterday I was talking with someone, one of the biggest telecom uh, companies yep. in America, who has one kind of set, kind of unique set of challenges. And I've actually just come from speaking to someone and they are the marketing department in their organization for a trucking company. Mm -hmm. So it's this, 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 this real mixture of different types of challenges they have. Uh, so I love having conversations with people that, uh, that have, you know, they're doing different types of marketing. Yeah, work. it's great to hear and it's great to have all those folks here with us as well. And uh, one of the main themes of the event is the idea of going beyond the brand and yeah. having conversations with those humans mm. and being able to have personalized messaging and create relationships with them. An important way to get to that is through creativity, which is a main focus for mm. you at C School and as well as for your session. Yeah. So tell us a little bit more about the importance of creativity to go beyond the brand and talk to those humans behind yeah, it. Yeah, so I, I think that the, the, one of the things, the big themes we've heard this week is that, you know, we're in, we're in B2B marketing, but in B2B, it's still people. Mm -hmm. We're still having conversations with yep. people about, behind it. So um, the, where the kind of creativity piece comes in is because I'm, I'm going to be speaking a lot about the, the, the age of disruption, all the technological changes that are going to be happening over the next, uh, next few years because of AI, robotics, mm -hmm. automation. Um, and because of that, the, one of the results is that Creativity is going to end up being the third most important job skill. It's going to become more important than negotiation skills, for mm -hmm. example. Uh, and a lot of companies are now having to kind of rethink. So, so we have all this incredible technology. So us as the human bit in the, mm -hmm. co in the conversation, yep. what, what's our role? And our role is really to be creative, to be innovative, to really push the boundaries in terms of what we do as marketers. Yeah, and definitely. What, and the th one of the things that's driving that innovation, is uh, or that disruption, I mean, is the, uh, is the technology behind it. Yep. We have artificial intelligence. We have machine learning. We have chatbots. We have automation in general. Yep. Um, how... Is that type of technology, how, how is that type of disruption impacting the human's ability to, to be creative? Is it, mm. Are you seeing it more impacting it negatively or positively? Are you seeing different aspects of it? So like with everything, there'll be positive and negatives. Um, the negatives uh, are that really they expect over the, the next, next few years, around 80 million jobs are going to disappear because yeah. of automation. It's a huge number. Uh, here in the U.S., it's about 47% of jobs are going to fundamentally change or they're going to disappear because of automation. So that's the, that's the negative side. There will be obviously a lot of jobs, new jobs created that we haven't even thought of yet. So that's, that's on that part. Now where the, where the creativity piece then starts to come in is, so we know that these jobs are going, so what's, where does the AI fit with the creativity? And one of the examples I use is Jack Ma, who's the uh, founder of Alibaba, the world's okay. largest B2B marketplace, did like $30 billion last year. And he talks about this idea that because that AI is going to be changing things fundamentally, we have to focus on that the most human resource, which is our creativity. Because frankly, technology like AI, there's no point in competing with them. They're going to do yeah. it better than us. Yeah. So we have to do the things that we're really good at, which is thinking creatively, thinking strategically. Um, and I think where the big opportunity lies for ourselves as marketers is that, that blend. Mm. Uh, I talk a little bit about this idea of centaur, centaur marketing, like the right. half man, half horse mythical creatures. Yeah. And I think that's where we're going to start to go in because what you're starting to see now um, is some of the best systems are what we call cent centaur systems. So they, they're matching, it's like an AI working with a human together. Mm -hmm. And they're getting better results than any human can get on their own and any mm -hmm. AI can get on their own. So I'm going to be talking quite a lot about that and what that means and giving some examples of how that's going to be affecting the work that we do. Yeah, we're touching on a lot of great things that are going to be happening at your uh, closing keynote mm. uh, later on today. Are there any other uh, key takeaways you're hoping to uh, uh, really dive into during uh, the session? What, can you give a little sneak peek of anything yeah. else that we're going to be talking about? So I I'm going to, you know... I'm going to be talking a lot about collaboration because I think this is where we're going. And this is one of the things we've been hearing a lot of this conference is this idea of like, how can we change the way that we collaborate, especially because of AI and stuff. So I'm going to be giving a number of different examples on how we can improve our collaboration in terms of our teams, um, how we can collaborate better as, as peers. This, this event here is all about you know, collaborating and getting together with your peers and even how we start collaborating with, with AI. So and it's, it's very simple. I'll, I'm, you know, I'm going to go everything from the very personal 
Um, I'm going to be teaching some creativity hacks. I don't know if you've had a morning cup of coffee uh, yet. I'm, I need a couple more okay. cups of coffee. Before. So, you know, <laughs> one of the, I'm going to be sharing some really cool stats. So, for example, high caffeine levels have been shown to decrease your levels of creativity. Hmm. It would explain a lot. Exactly. <laughs> so so things, things like that, I'm going to be sharing that. Things like colors, you know, the yeah. colors that you have around in your office and your organization can also affect levels of creativity. So that's more like on the personal. And then when it comes to the team, I'm going to be talking a lot about when we're giving creative feedback in, in those ideation sessions, the best way to do that so we can get the best from everyone. So as an organization, we can really do our best work. Great, and I'm looking forward to this session. I really do appreciate you taking the time to uh, chat with me today, and thank you for all of you folks joining us, and uh, have a great rest of the day. I hope to see you next year at the B2B Marketing Exchange. So stay tuned. <laughs>